Oh, we gotta squeeze through this! Oh, get through there, Jack, please! What the hell is going on, Jack? You need to leave and let Central handle it. Jess, I can't just leave. I need to remove the lockdown and access the security cameras. I can check through the buildings that way. That sounds like a safer compromise. What a night. You need to let Central respond. One sweep and then you're out of there. I'll use the cameras to locate them, then I'm gone. Okay. Where's the generator located? East of the atrium. A straight shot from there to the maintenance unit. The airlock breach has sealed the outer door until I left the lockdown. Is there another way to the maintenance unit? Okay, according to the layout, you can take the drill bay hangar door, and that should bring you out in front of the maintenance unit. Drill bay hangar, got it. You can access it from the service tunnel from the stairwell. Roger. All right, guys, I didn't have a chance to say that right at the beginning there, but welcome everyone back to some more Fort Solace. I know you guys really wanted to see more of this, and so do I. So we're not wasting any more time. After the events of the last episode, things have been taken up a notch. So we got to find the drill bay hangar, which I believe... Yeah, there we go. A sense of direction hasn't failed me. And this is open now, because whoever was down there with us in the med bay when we were looking for Wyatt, they used that to get up to the surface. Also, real quick, I want to let you guys know something. I noticed that when I was going through some of the logs... Let me just see if I can find this. There's a couple of messages that I, I don't think I showed in the episode. But it says here, at the bottom paragraph, I have some theories as to the scratch marks on the drill bay door, if you want to hear them. There's so many different things, like with Compound 26, like all the things that Helen was working on. There's so many questions. I know I say that all the time, like as a kind of meme -y thing. But with this so far, there really are so many questions. So hopefully we get some answers. All right, drill bay door. That is what it said for us to do, right? Locate the drill bay door. All right, let's do this. What are we going to find, Jack? How are you holding up? Well, they train us for mining accidents, but never anything like this. We don't know what this is yet. What is the point of watching all of these shows if he refused to apply what he's learned? I'm not ruling out zombies. I hope for your sake you're wrong. What did Central say? They're sending support. It will be a while, though, until they reach you. Rog. I... I'm at my limit. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this right now. Jack did say to Jess, get hold of Central, because obviously there's something happened at the station. We are on our own until help arrives. I did not expect stuff like this, like having to descend into the belly of this place. That looks straight out of the Alien movies. Is that another poster there? I'll try and collect them. I'm by no means an achievement hunter, but... I'll get what we can. Alien civilization on Mars. Is that some kind of hint? Is that what we're going to get? It could be like a, a red herring, though. Like there's something else going on, making you think it's that, but it, it might not be. All right, we don't have that key card. I have been trying to pay attention to, uh, to what we have been collecting and the names as well. Obviously, the characters are a huge part to this. I saw there was a, another entrance back there, too. But yeah, we... we didn't find out where Wyatt was. We saw the uh, the video messages, which I did see a lot of you guys were blown away by them just as much as I was. Can't break that open. All right, drill bay. What horrors are we going to find down here? And we have no idea who that was back there, by the way, that tried to lock us in. Leave us to our death. The oxygen was depleting. This whole place was just in full panic mode and we barely made it through that door. But we're still okay. Drill bay B2. So we're we gonna find scratches on this? Or is that on the uh, exterior? Some parts of this really do look so, so cool. Solace has been up here for years. Must be starting to show its age. I think we are long past that. Solace is vintage. We're back at the bar. No. I knew I should have taken the bottle with me. <laughs> <laughs> What? It's after midnight. I I'm officially on vacation. Oh, that's true. That's true. He was supposed to be uh, taking leave, right? All right, restroom. Let's just explore as much as we can. And the lights. Oh, Holy gee! What? These hand dryers. <sighs> Same back on ours. They're just so loud. 
If you weren't already on edge. Exactly. Why are you laughing, Jess? You know something just went down. We we've reported back that something isn't right. People are are, are not alive anymore. Is that another I-5 node? Alright. Good to know then that we can get them out of there if we need to. Oh, as if my heart rate needed that. <laughs> the tension in this is insane. Alright, that's what we needed it for though. This is another question though. Are people removing these to stop access to something? Because we're having to replace a few of them. All right, whose who's place was this? Let me actually just read that real quick. It's important that I know that because there's a few things. Okay, this was Nick's, I want to say. I'm going to have to find that out one second. We can do that real quick. If we go to messages and that's got to be Nick, right? Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Nick at the bottom. A couple of messages that we, uh, we got earlier on. The level three access code. We need that. Enter the drill bait hangar. Okay, so that's what we needed back there. That's what we needed back there. Now, I'm guessing... Why would they need these? Based off the way this is going, we're not going to be getting any weapons or anything like that. So we've got to be really careful and, I guess, sensible with our decisions. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> you're asking a lot from me there with that. <laughs> All right, let's see what this says. What did Nick have on his PC? All right, Helen. Nick, the shipment seems too low again. I can't sustain the project's ambitions unless the quota is met. I will need additional materials this week. Please inform your team. Thanks, Helen Dumpart, senior botanist. So this is from Wyatt then. Dawson and Salim have shown symptoms of overexposure. I've asked numerous times for teams to log their surface hours and yet your department continuously fails to do so. Can you please update your logs this week? Thanks, Wyatt. So Wyatt was suspicious of something happening, and he was saying that people were getting sick too. That's why I think him and Helen were at kind of each other's throats. And Nick, I have inspected the damage to the hangar door as discussed. Adam has asked to take the door offline in the short term. I wanted to keep the resident's wild animal rumors going a little longer, but sadly it wasn't to be. The aim is to have it back online next week, providing the storms let up long enough for the engineers to work on it. I'll keep you updated. Oscar. Oh, poor Oscar. That's who we found down there first. All right, so this is Nick. I think that's working now. Everything here is broken. <clears throat> Surface trips are still progressing despite the increased demand from Helen. This cycle has, it's been a tough one. Morale around the team remains good as the storm season approaches. Most are looking forward to a break. The power outages here don't help, but we've done our best to manage. Okay, short and sweet from Nick. System servers are currently offline still. So we've got the drill site. Oh, look how creepy that looks. Drill site, drill bay hangar, security station. Okay, something tells me I've got to get there pretty soon. Find out if we can find more of these cameras to what's going on or find out who was there. Also, I'm going to put a little clip on screen right now because I did replay chapter one just to kind of familiarize myself with everything again. And I did notice when we were going to that first airlock, there was somebody over to the right hand side going into another entrance, which I'm guessing might be the person who we saw when we were down in the med bay. But just something that I noticed that I wanted to let you guys know about. Whoa! I didn't notice that before. Can we go through there? Main hangar. I gotta try it, right? It says locked. Do we have access? Oh, we do. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is a big old space. Oh! <laughs> What caused that to do that? Did something get thrown or did it? Jack, what happened? What was that? Uh, uh, a platform, it, 
It came right at me. How? No idea. Uh, I'm, I'm not the only one searching in the dark. Was it defective? I'll check. Hold on a second. It was like here. And then it curled round the corner like that? That was intentional. There's no way that's just dislodged. Got ourselves another poster. Again, I can't promise I'm going to find all of those, but if, if I do come across them, I will remember to pick them up. Is this another one of the ones that we found before? Titan Autonomous Excavation Fleet. You remember when they first introduced Titans? Excavators? Yeah. <laughs> I still remember the redundancies. That'll be us at some point. Well, they will always need someone to fix them. I guess so. Yep, nope, not going in there. I had like a brave moment for a second. I just wanted to do a bit of exploration, but... It seems in working order. I, at least it was. Well, keep your guard up and get that generator back on. Roger. Oh, boy. Okay. Just be on your toes, Jack. I'm a little bit worried that we're ha gonna have to go in there. Look at that. <laughs> that does not look safe. Just saying. Like, with everything that's going on, I don't want to add to all the worry that we've got so far. People trying to kill us. Massive platforms or whatever that was back there being thrown at us. And now we can't get in these things. Why not? Do we not have access to them? Come on, give us something. Oh, are these samples? I guess we're going to find out. Taylor, the guy doesn't let up threatened to report me for overexposing my team. This is really getting out of hand. <sighs> I need to unwind. Beer and poker with the guys tonight. After this cycle, I'm taking a break. I need it. Yeah, decompress, Nick. So one of the things that I've noticed as well, they keep referring to Wyatt as Taylor. And it tripped me up a little bit in the first one because I was like, wait a second, who have we not come across yet? But we actually did. It's Wyatt. You see that surname? So, wait, what's this one? Power shortages are beginning to cause serious issues with our security systems. I've asked Officer Nadiri to move to a multi-tool access plan until those power issues are resolved. All areas now require their officers' access to maintain security levels. Okay, so that's why we need the key cards then. And the Wyatt stuff I think we'd already heard. I'm not a kid. Um... Yeah, I it's when he's like, that. he's concerned about Taylor, stuff. The guy doesn't let up. Threatened to report me for overexposing my team. This is really getting out of hand. <sighs> oh, you can listen to them being away from wine. that. Okay. Beer and poker with the guys tonight. After this cycle, I'm taking a break. I need it. I didn't know you could actually come out of that and still listen to what's going on. Let's see what this does. Oh, <sighs> I'm trapped, Jeff. Trapped? The platform's blocking the door. I can't remote access it. The lockdown has sealed all exterior bulkhead doors. Blow the blast doors. Uh, if only. Well, given how the night is going, it's not the worst idea. Or did you take your helmet off again? No, it's on. It's terrifying that I even have to ask that, isn't it? Did you put yours back on? Sure. I'm gonna have to get creative. First time for everything, I guess. What did he have in mind? I'm gonna walk the tracks. Nice night for a walk. Watch out for any more haunted platforms. Hold on a second. Am I not meant to mess with this? I could have, like, swore that this is where I've got to go break the glass, maybe, and then pull the lever to open this up. We've got our helmets on and stuff, so I can't imagine that we're going to be in, like, immediate trouble, but... Yeah, maybe. I don't know if this is like all vacuum sealed as well, so maybe just opening things isn't the best of ideas. All right, let's go see what this is telling us to do. There's no way we can free this up though, right? Maybe. Oh, no way. We've got to squeeze through that. What was that, power cell? See, Jack's a lot smarter than me. That's why he's an engineer in a place like this. That's why he gets to go to Mars and I don't. <laughs> I have nothing to offer like Jack does. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this thing going then. 
Perfect. And then I'm guessing I gotta go and pull that lever over there now. Open things up. Or not. Alright, we're moving. Is it just gonna go clunk straight into the door now? <laughs> yep. It looks like I'll have to open these doors manually. <laughs> okay. I take it back. Maybe Jack isn't the smartest <laughs> like I thought he was. I mean, he got the power going and he got this thing moving, but maybe he thought he could just, like, charge through that? This is what we needed to do. It's pretty obvious. Oh, hold on. There we go. And just got to get it right in that little section there. Easy enough. Look at that big old door. What is waiting on the other side of that? Is that going to be the exterior now or... No, that looks like it's going to go deeper. This is actually terrifying. Like, <laughs> I know a lot of you guys pointed out the tension in the first episode, but it's not letting up with this. Oh, and the lights come on. I can't move this camera either from behind Jack. <laughs> so we're seeing this. That's it. Whatever Jack is going to react to, we're going to see secondhand. This does not look safe either. Look at that. Like little bits falling and crumbling in from the top. Ooh, easy does it. Oh, easy does it. All right, we've learned our lesson. We know what we got to do. Open the next one. Come on, Jack. Let's get things moving. Open this one up. Same again. You know we're going to open this one and it's going to be something terrifying on the end of this. <laughs> Just know it. There we go. And one more. I should probably make a note of... Everything in this place is broken. Yep, don't like that. Oh, I'm definitely not walking back that way either. Oh, we gotta squeeze through this! <sighs> oh, get through there, Jack, please! Oh. Oh. <sighs> what? You know, like I was talking about tension back there? All right. What is that sound? I can see the next blast door there. There's some flashing going on. I think, yeah, I think it's all closed up. Anything starts scurrying in front of me or something like that. Whoa. Let's get this one open. No, Jack, come on. For some reason. I could have swore I either heard, like, rubble being moved then, or something scratching. Oh, Jack, we gotta be quicker than this. The last one. Oh, that felt like an eternity. Come on. Okay, that's the exterior. So we're not riding the, uh... The rails anymore. We're going on foot. Jess, you there? Finally. No, oh, you miss me? Not funny. I I thought the worst had happened when your comms went down. Interference in the tunnel or from the storm, I guess. Okay, where are you now? I'm not sure. I need to work my way back to the surface. Alright. Let's just take this. <laughs> <laughs> One step at a time. That is a hell of a dust storm that's moved in as well. Look at that. You really can't see what's going on. Like, some of the stuff, I really want to look at it. Like, that stuff over there, we were looking at the, what were they called? The LTV and HTV earlier on in the uh, previous episode. Where is this taking us? So the lockdown's still in full effect. So, like it said back there when we, uh, 
we read that there's going to be places off limits, things that aren't working. What does that say? Just warning? Yeah, things like this. Are these, is this that, that drill we saw before? The uh, the autonomous excavator or something? Titans are so much bigger in person. Yeah, the name kind of gives it away. It's called a Titan. Yeah, I think that's that's what it said before, right? More climbing. Oh, I'm sorry in advance, Jack. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> All this going on, and no one has radioed for help. You buying that? Usually not a good sign. What is going on here? Well, you did say you weren't ruling out zombies. Seen any? <laughs> not yet. Jess just keeps that little bit of fear going, because she keeps suggesting... They're talking about the movie that they were referencing right at the beginning. With, like, zombies and stuff, and Jack didn't really like it all that much, but Jess keeps talking about, like, horror stuff when we were in the, uh... Like the shower area or the toilet, she was going ch 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 <laughs> like the whole day thing. Monologuing again? The storage unit ahead is open. Okay, just get to the maintenance unit. Oh, I'm just so gonna cool. take a look. It's like you watch these movies and try to one up the dumb protagonists who die <laughs> early. Yes. I'm back. I, oh, I can't even. <laughs> That's me. That's literally me. All right, let's open up this open storage unit. Nothing weird about that. Jack? What happened? Oh, was that Nick? Oh. Stay calm. Remember our training. Focus and calm. I found another. Uh, tout. That's their drill operations manager, according to company records. The guy from the drill bay hangar before? I don't think so. Let's get to that generator. Heading to the maintenance unit now. Wait, there's no way you would... I mean... You would want to investigate a little bit more about that. I mean, you don't want to get locked in this thing <laughs> before help arrives, but... How was he taken out? And there's so much here that I really want to explore. Yeah, this dust storm is going to definitely cause problems, and it's probably not safe being out in this. But there's so much that I want to see. Like, look at all this cool gear. What does it all do? <laughs> so these are harvesting energy then maybe because of these these dust storms on Mars. They're going to be common, right? Look at the size of that back there too. Okay, I'm at the MU. That's still never going to catch on. Heading in. Roger. Hey! Just trying to lighten the mood. Hang in there. Roger. <sighs> I regret it already. <laughs> They're a little bit too calm considering what we've just experienced. Helen and Nick have been taken out by someone. Whoa. What's all this business? Oh, look at this. Can we fashion something to defend ourselves with? What is that? Some kind of turbine or something? Something for a drill? <laughs> so many questions. Got another data link. Feels great to be included. Feels like what I'm doing here is more than just keeping the drill spinning. This planet, this base, it can house evolution. That matters. Wow, I sound just like her. Is he referencing Helen there? Poor Nick. I do remember as well that when we were on our way to uh, to see Wyatt, we found a suit with blood on it. It didn't look like Wyatt's blood because there was no like puncture marks like there was with Helen's suit or Oscar's, but yeah, we still haven't found him yet. Oh, okay, that made me jump. Why is everything after me? <laughs> Don't worry about it, Jack. You're handling it with style. Oh, okay, I really thought something was going to pop out of us then. Like we shouldn't be expecting it, but... Is that another I-5 node? Beautiful. Let's keep things moving. What is all this stuff? 3D orbit. Okay, we can mess with... Is that a 3D printing machine? Well, I mean, that kind of does make sense, though, right? With them being on Mars. Having to fabricate things on the fly with whatever they need. Especially with it being 
like drills and, and heavy equipment. Okay, so this is from Wyatt. Adam, I know you share my concerns about Helen's work. I would like to discuss options and next steps in evaluating her Frontiers project. Nick's team can't continue like this. Morally, I can't allow it. Yeah, Wyatt was saying that he was concerned about overexposure for Nick's team. Hello, Adam. I have updated and changed the security overrides to the greenhouse as requested. Is everything okay? Let me know if you need anything else. Ask him. I did find a code before, actually two codes. One was for Helen's desk. And another one was, I believe, what Asim gave to Wyatt. And I do have them as well, so we don't have to go digging for them. And this is from Terra Tools. Residents, please take care in maintaining and storing your tools. Negligence and damage can lead to accidents occurring on site. Regular safety checks are enforced. Please do not use faulty equipment. Thanks. <laughs> it's like the most obvious thing ever. Hi, Adam. The toe of the line for the ridge access seems to continue to jam. I've looked into it today, and it's more than likely it needs replacing. It may still be able to function in terms of moving equipment up and down the ridge, but it could also go at any minute. I'm unable to put in a replacement request, so I'll leave that to you, Hector. Okay, I don't remember any mention of Hector. Hi, Adam. Thanks for the email today. Sadly, I was out of the game early. Nick called me with a 2-7 off suit, and the bar beckoned after I lost the hand. So they're talking about the poker game then that Nick was referencing before. To my knowledge, Nick and Wyatt got into it a little bit, but nothing more than just a general disagreement. I can't say I saw anything as I wasn't there. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. Is that Caddy? Is that how you say that? Caddy, I'm going to say? I butcher people's names. All right, video log. Recording this after a long day. I've just been out to look at more weather damage to the arrays. We are cycling out a season towards the storms, and uh, tensions are high here. Days are getting harder. The site is on course, and we continue to work towards a better tomorrow. There's so much sadness in the eyes. It's so well done. Like, those video logs... Some of my favorite things we've come across so far. Okay, so system and surveillance well, are both offline. Oh, no, they definitely need a new winch. Are we going to have to fit that? <laughs> Something tells me we will. Exploring new worlds. All right, let's take a look at this 3D printer then. The 3D orbit. Hey, they have an orbit. A printer? Yeah. Very cool. But yet, Star Wars are dull. Oh, it, it's a different vibe. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did say that before, didn't he, when he saw the uh, the poster. He wasn't into it. He gets more excited about his, uh, his 3D printers. Everyone's got their thing. I'm not judging. And this is for the node that we found. Yeah, look at this. All the power units have been disabled. They're scattered everywhere. There we go. Okay, before we go through here, hold up a second, Jack. Let me just double check something. So it says, locate the maintenance unit generator. Where are we here? So we're in the stairwell. That's the maintenance unit. What we next do, though? Is that where we were before? Okay, yeah, that's where we were before. The offices, conference room. That's where everything went bad. Oh, look at what we've... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we're definitely getting turned around. Oh, no, wait, that's the... Is that where we were earlier? No, that's definitely not where we've been. That's where the greenhouse and stuff is. All right, we're going to get there. All right, let's keep it moving. Nothing's broken or been sabotaged here. We gotta get something online. Nothing there that we can cycle through. God, the look of this. So blown away by it. Looks so good. All right, there we go. We got something. Let's take a look at it. The generator looks like it was powered down. Powered down? How? Like someone hacked the control panel and overwrote security. Well, why would someone do that? No idea. Whoever it was obviously didn't want a record of anything. With the security compromised, I'm unable to reboot the generator. I'm locked out. What about the other generator? I did see there was a security place that we could get to. Maybe we got to get there first. It's been sabotaged. 
Okay, that's it. You need to return right now. Are we supposed to fix that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's time to get back. Oh, there we go! How many are with you? Get up, Jack! Come on, go! Oh, do not crack that mask. Oh, no, no, no! Jack! 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 Oh! Jack! Are you okay? Central, come in. Central. Roger, this is Central. This is Jessica Appleton, Fort Minor. We have your incident report and we have dispatched security forces to evaluate the situation. How long before they're there? Not until morning. They're dispatched from Meridiani Planum. Please remain calm whilst you wait. Hang in there, Jack. I'm on my way. Let's go get him, Jess. What? What the hell is happening? <laughs> oh, there's no way. This thing has just been disabled? Nice night for a walk, I guess. Okay, so the dust storm is now in full effect. We've got Wyatt, who has just gone full-blown insane. And we have no idea what we're dealing with here. Oh, what? I don't know what you're doing, Jeff, but I like your style. Wait, hold on, we get it. There we go. <laughs> Why would she stay underneath it and not inside of the thing? I'm, I've got to be honest, I'm a little bit confused as to why she just did that. Maybe it's safer being underneath it in this storm or something, but... Would it not be safer being inside of it if, if, like, if the storm's kicking up or something? Chapter 3. All right. So, seeing as though Chapter 2 wasn't that long, we are going to keep this thing going because I can't stop here. I need to know what's going on. So, we're going to keep it going. Let's see if we can find what happened to Jack. So, in the back of my mind, I was like, it's going to be someone that we haven't seen yet who's going to be the person who's been sabotaging all this stuff. And when we got, like, hit from behind there, I really didn't expect it to be Wyatt, but then the face reveal... And he saw his eyes, too. They were really bloodshot. He didn't look right. There was something definitely off. Maybe something to do with the Compound 26 or something, or... Like, overexposure, maybe? Like like what he was saying to Nick? I don't know. Jess is on the way, though. I don't think Jess has any cards, though, either. Like, any access to anything, so... Is it gonna be... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look. Wait, Jess, you don't see that? At the top. Is that Wyatt? I don't want to gain access to Fort Solace. All right. Well, he knows we're coming now. <laughs> but yeah, what I showed you guys before, I'm pretty sure then that was Wyatt or whoever's in that suit, if it is one in the same. Is it going to say everything's still locked down? Yeah, okay. 
This is crazy because the dust storm that's kicked up right now, it's making me squint. Like, I'm really trying to make out little things off, like, through the storm. I have to try the door again just in case it works. Maybe we should try the, uh, the LTV, I guess. I want to get the name of things wrong. <laughs> I get shouted out in the comments. <laughs> Chances of this door opening, though, it's just pretty much slim to none. Like I was saying, Jess doesn't really have access to anything. Oh, wait a second, though. No? Oh, how am I supposed to get in? Ah, he left his tools in the LTV. Oh, so we're not going to go the same way that that Jack actually did. Where we, we nearly fell and, and, and broke every bone in our body because I was so locked into what he was doing rather than worried about the, uh, the QTEs. <laughs> I've always been bad with them, I'll be honest. Like, quick time events, they're not my, uh, my strong suit. I get, like, mouth open wide really get into the storyline and then all of a sudden something pops up on screen i'm like oh yeah that's right <laughs> i gotta do something all right let's grab these tools just drive this thing jess just drive it you know you want to Ooh. why does he even have this in here not that i'm complaining i mean i guess i am because he's an absolute legend and he's gonna possibly open that door because so we don't climb up that way and get kicked in our chin by whoever's waiting for us up there cut the ridge door yeah it's got to be up there look how badass this thing looks it's like a nail gun but it's probably going to be like a plasma cutter or something some like little gas tank that was loaded into it i gotta be honest too like the fact that jess is doing this going after jack kind of shows the uh the bond that they both have i was saying at the beginning they uh they sound like almost like a brother and sister relationship. I'm sure it's fine to cut this door. Uh, only one way to find out, really. Shield your eyes, guys. Don't look directly into the light. Is it as simple as that? <laughs> nice. We're in. <sighs> Go on, Jess. Get in there. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to scare you. I I, I saw you out in, in the storm. Are, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, good. Good. Because there is some really weird shit going on here, right? Yeah. Huh. I'm sorry, who are you? Jessica Appleton, and you? I'm Nick. I run the drills around here. I did, you know. Um, Where's your team? Oh, I mean, they're off site. We can't drill in these storms. <laughs> Who are you here with? Oh. <laughs> No one. I'm responding to an alarm. Oh, right. Yeah, the alarm. That's smart, Jess. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Get out of there, Jess. Let her go. <laughs> hey, come on. Going. I can help. I can help you. Okay. You, 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 you need to calm down. Just breathe. And and you open the door and, and I'll, I'll take you to go see your friend. Okay. All right. But you gotta calm down. And you you, you gotta open the door. Okay. Come on. Open the door. Just open the door. Here comes the rage. Jeez, open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the fucking door! Don't do it, Jess! I'm sorry, I got mad. Sometimes I just... Oh. <laughs> oh! I'll be seeing you. These scenes make you so uncomfortable. 
You made the right call, what Jess. What are you doing, Jessica? No, 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 don't doubt yourself. You did the right thing there. That is a bad dude back there. He said his name was Nick and he was in his uniform too. I mean, we all know that's Wyatt. But I was thinking, wait a minute, didn't Jess hear what happened with Jack over the radio? She was screaming, so she knew he'd been attacked. And then the, the moment that he said, yeah, I'm here alone. <laughs> okay, alarm bells must have started ringing. He was in the maintenance unit. That I know. I need to check it. Yeah, that's what Jack said, right? He was going over towards the maintenance unit. So at least we've got a bearing where we can head to. We just got to watch. Why would Wyatt go insane, though? I mean, we saw on the uh, the video logs that he really missed his family. Maybe, like, maybe he just finally snapped or something. But I don't think it's that simple. Whoa. Wait, what? Where are we here? Let's have a look. Stairwell, atrium, med bay, surgery. Where is... What do we call it? MU? Greenhouse. Ooh, look at this. Are we going to find out what's going on with Compound 26 with this stuff? Messages. Oh, wait a second. So, thanks for the email. We read that one. Job has been logged. I can meet you down in the hangar. Let's take the HTV2 in case the drill needs bringing back. That's from Jack. It seems someone has discovered Jack's vending machine adjustments. Thank you so much for completing our promotion process. I'm happy to confirm that your scores were fantastic. You've been selected to be our lead engineer at the new Lunar Baltic station. Ooh. Whoa, wait a second. That says unlocked. Access granted? Are we going there? Ooh, that's a little bit terrifying. I'm sure that was closed before with Jack. Is this where Wyatt was hiding then? When he locked us in. Alright, what does this say? Workplace, medical examination report, Roberts, Dawson. Dizziness, loss of balance, low blood pressure. Need to stay within radiation safety limits. Current diagnosis, radiation poisoning. Daily administration of potassium. What does that say? Iodide? Check up in two weeks, and that was signed by Wyatt. Please take additional care to support your team through this turbulent weather period. If any medical staff require support, don't hesitate to call on our fantastic resources. Terror well-being. We look forward to welcoming all residents on a star walk this evening. Star walks help remind us of the spectacle that your residency provides. We hope that you can join us. The walk will begin at 1700, Xavier. So Xavier has a tie to Jess then. I wonder if she's going to say anything. Team relations manager. Nope. And this is from Wyatt. Residents, many of you are aware of the exposure cases I treated last week. I request you please respect the limited service access safeguards that are in place. I would appreciate you all leading by example and not participating in tonight's Star Walk. If you are experiencing any of the symptoms outlined in my mail, Please see me directly if you are, Wyatt. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, some good news. I think my work here is beginning to pay off. Tout's team uh, is finally beginning to listen to my warnings about exposure. They recorded higher rad levels at the site this week, and I've had to treat two of his staff for uh, radiation uh, sickness. Dawson is showing signs of hypotension and Celine complained of dizziness. Um, current treatment is daily administration of potassium iodide. I'm pretty sure we caught it quick, but out of an abundance of caution, I'll go ahead and schedule a CT scan for Celine um, just to rule out vestibular disorder. Um, but I just have no idea why these guys insist on working such long hours at the site. They know that it's against regulations. I just don't think that they're fully aware of the risks. But who knows? Maybe the taste of seaweed in their mouth will remind them to put their health first. The mention of seaweed, that was like a, a ration bag, like a food ration bag that we saw. And I wonder why they are staying there longer. It's not like they're being forced to then if it's against regulation. That is really, really strange. All right, all that's going to be backed up. Is there anything else? Well, the poster there. All right, I do want to keep having a look around this area. Let's go and see if the... Oh, wait, was there anything on there? I don't think we can access this, right? No, I think that's just like a bigger screen of what we've just been looking at. All right, let's have a look and see if we can see Oscar then. I wonder if Oscar's body's been removed. Nope, still here. Uh, 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 uh. 
Deep breath, Jess. You okay? I wish you turned around, then I really thought someone was going to be behind us. This is out of control. I need to get Jack and get the fuck out of here. I agree with you, Jess, but that's a key card right there, and we're probably going to need it. Unless you already have access. And there is a knife around here, too. And seeing as though Wyatt has been around, can we grab this now? We can't take it. All right, so I think if we go this way and then up a level, if I'm not mistaken, that's where we're going to get to. We're going to obviously try and find where Jack was, but... Jessica, it's been a long night, and I'm just trying to contain this. Is Jack alive? Where is he? You care for him. I get that. Even with my oath, there is nothing I can do for either of you now. What you are doing is insane. Take a look around and tell me I'm wrong. Wrong? Why would you do this? Jack London said it best. The proper function of man is to live, not to exist. I shall not waste my days in trying to prolong them. I shall use my time. Is that the end of Wyatt? That is one creepy, creepy voice. Definitely sounds like he's going to be causing a lot more trouble. And then this is Helen, right? trying to make sure Jess discovers similar stuff to what Jack went across so we're all up to speed with everything why would he come after everyone come on Appleton stay on mission and here we go all right private rooms so I can get back with that way there to the right Jack oh have you found your friend why don't you give me a hint I wish I could but that would be cheating wouldn't it Jess and, uh, I'm trying to do everything I can to contain this situation. <laughs> that you created. Me? No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Helen. Helen just had to be right. Had a Funny story. I walked into the comm center. Right about what? Come to the greenhouse. I'll show you. Whoa. That was so weird. <laughs> I didn't actually think the uh, the audio file from Nick would override Wyatt then. But looks like we got to go to the greenhouse to find out what he's talking about. All right, let's see what Nick actually said. Funny story. I walked into the comm center. And I swear I hear a scene doing poetry. He denied it, but he definitely wasn't singing along to something. Being up here, man, <sighs> messes with you. Maybe I just need to get back to center point. So Asim is the communications officer that changed the password for Wyatt, I believe. No, for Helen, wasn't it, earlier on? And uh, I have a code for that in case we needed that password for anything. I do need to find Helen's place, though, because I do have another code, which is for her drawer. All right, so... Hi, Nick. Sadly, I'm not sure what you are referring to. We have a book club if you wish to join. Texts are available on the portal. Let me know if I can get you added next week. Thanks, Asim. Okay, so the subject of this one says proof by D. Roberts. Hey, man. Just dropping a quick message to say thanks for dropping off the rock. It's just further proof that it wasn't a man that damaged our hangar door. How can this many rocks have such consistent markings? Anyway, see you at poker tonight, Dawson. Okay, Dawson was the one that had the effects earlier that we found. These storms. We suffered setbacks. Helen continues to demand materials, but we simply can't meet her demands. My whole team is agitated and arguing all the time now. Everyone seems different. I'm not sure how much longer we can keep this up. Something has to give. I need to speak to Adam. 
Injuries, damages. I've never seen anything like it. We shouldn't be out there. See, that made it sound like they could potentially all be in on something, but like the, the body language and the anxiousness of him might not be the case. I want that little plushie there. Look at that. <laughs> that thing's amazing. And these are the rocks. Yeah, as I've said before, nothing is really left here by accident too, so should be probably reading a lot of this, like the, the little sticky notes and stuff. Also, look at that calendar as well. I was asking, or at least I was thinking, how far into the future is this? And I, I noticed that. It says 2080 on it. Nicked out drill operations manager. This stuff is so cool. I love it. I really, really do. And we can't open any of this stuff too, right? Yeah, there was nothing else. Can't open any of these lockers. All right, let's go out. So hopefully I don't really have to worry about Wyatt then. Level five, Wait, what access do we have? We have level three. My colleague has left you a sample plant as requested on the A level of the greenhouse. Please let me know if it's satisfactory. I wonder if that has anything to do with what Wyatt wants to show us. I can't find this drawer that apparently is here. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong spot, but yeah, I've still got the code. So if we do come across it, I'll definitely open it. All right, let's try and find Jack. It's been way too long. Let's get back this way. Jessica. Where is he? Helen tried to silence me. And people need to know. Know what? That this is bigger than just us. But don't worry, I'm looking into Helen's work right now. What was she doing? Come to the greenhouse. I'll show you. Jack must be there with him. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Is that a 3D printed axe? Whoa. Jess, where you going? I'm not controlling this. Here. Move the lockdown via the comms hub. I mean, there's all the proof you need, Jess, not to trust this guy. Or at least have a plan B if we're going to go to that greenhouse. And we saw all these, right? Let's go print ourselves a 3D printed axe. I really hope you printed that and not him. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. So we're not, <laughs> we're not doing the printing. I think Wyatt did that. There's got to be something that we can use then. There has to be. Like, look at all these tools. Nail gun or, like, even the hammer there. Grab anything. Fabricate something out of the 3D printer, maybe. I am fully panicked now. If he's made himself an axe, it's going to be over for Jess or Jack. And I really like both of them. I don't want either of them to die. Nothing else we can get in there. Spray something in his eyes, maybe. Is that some... WD-40 in there? <laughs> Looks like it. WD-41. A little bit more advanced. We're in 2080 now. All right. Let's go and see what this son of a bitch wants. Give me Jack back. Airlock sequence complete. Back out into the dust storm. We're going to have to check our uh, our location here. Let's have a look at this. So we're outside maintenance. And the communications hub is over there. That's where we're going to get to. So around the atrium and this side. Got it. So there's the big old atrium. I saw, li yeah, lights coming from down there too. I'm really, really scanning around just to see if there's anybody else out here with us. No sign of anything yet. It's all this business. A load of cables. Oh, we're definitely not getting How there. How am I supposed to move that? In this storm? There must be something here to help. Ooh, can we get to, like, control a crane or something? <laughs> like, after everything that's happening, I'm getting all excited over controlling a crane on Mars. <laughs> Who wouldn't, though? Alright, what's that back there? I see a door. Maybe go around that way. I'll see if there's a door around the back of this first. Where is that? 
Oh, that's the greenhouse. Nope, not going in there yet. That's where that lunatic is, with his 3D printed axe. The things I do for you, Leary. Nice. Okay, so we can use this to to pull whatever that obstruction is. Oh, it's one of the lights, isn't it? That's what it is. That's the storm blowing it across. Oh, did you see that? That subtle hand movement? Look at that. She's like moving it behind her as well. That's super smooth. And attach it to this. Then we want to go back over there. Fire up the motor and then it'll drag it away from the door. Wyatt is definitely going to know what we're doing here though. And whoever else. At this point, I'm thinking he's got help. Whoever else is helping him. But we need to find Jack. So let's just get this done. Enter the comms hub. Come on! Just work! Let's remove the lockdown and find him. Nice. Yes, he's badass. I really half expected Wyatt to be inside there then. Remove the lockdown. So fingers crossed we won't have any problems in here and we can... Oh, okay, there's stuff that we can mess around with. What's this? What have we got here? Ooh, okay. We nailed it. Oh. No, I got that one. <laughs> there we go. So, whose is this then? The T13s have finally arrived. What is this? These will make working on the site so much easier. I'm looking for... So... Officer Tyler's here again, insisting to come in. For a guy who lectures me non-stop about safety regulations, you'd think he'd understand why he's not allowed back here. Hoskins, hi Nick. I have a special request from the Better Tomorrow Project. I'm going to start facilitating delivery of unique materials, which we'll have to store in the Drill Bay Hangar. I'll pop down in about an hour so we can talk, thanks. Did we see this one yet? We saw that one. Hi Nick, I couldn't really isolate what the issue was with your multi-tool. I've passed it to the maintenance department to look at. In the short term, stop by my office and I can set you up with a new one, thanks. Okay, so nothing too revealing there. I mean, aside from that that first video log where it looked like Wyatt was, uh, was coming to check on Nick. That might have been a reference to something he was mentioning before, but it could also point to the fact that maybe Wyatt was becoming suspicious of what they were doing or trying to hide something, maybe. Again, though, I don't think it's that simple. There's something more going on. There is no way this can help me remove the lockdown. At least I don't think so. Asim, who has clearance to the greenhouse site from the core team? I'm looking to assess what I believe to be a serious health warning. Yeah, you see, this is clearing up something. Something isn't right. Hey, Asim, thanks for the book. However, after reading it, I feel I've surpassed chess for beginners. I need to adjust my AI difficulty. Oh, no. <laughs> don't be messing around with that. I've looked at the settings, but can't seem to figure it out. Could you advise? Thanks. And that's from Phoebe as well. Today, our power system continued to fail. The array becomes more damaged with each cycle. I get that people are frustrated, but there is only so much I can do. I have been studying. <laughs> Hopefully it helps at next week's get together. Poor guy. Feel like he just wanted some friends. Com center maintenance unit store. Okay, so if that is Wyatt... Who has he got there? That's not the clothing Jack was wearing. That's somebody else. Oh, if wait. not here, then where? How do I reset the system? Focus and calm. Whoa. Q. 
Keep it together, Jess. You're all right. Now, I don't know if something's affecting Jess now, like what happened to the rest of the crew that we've been slowly discovering, or if this is something else from Jess. I mean, it could just be pure anxiety or fear or something <laughs> based off what she's just been through. I wouldn't blame her. What we're dealing with. Okay, so this is what we were just above. For a second then, I thought there was something that was going to be like in a jar or something like that. Ooh. <laughs> Access denied. No way. <laughs> oh no. Fuck. We need what those are you fingerprints. Doing, Jess? Just picking up a man's fucking arm. That's <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not I weird one bit. Back online. So I guess we're just turning the servers on in sequence here, based on what it says on the screen. Is it that straightforward? I hope so. Wait for that thing to hit the center. Oh, this thing on. Do we do it, Jess? Let's have a look. The power's still on, so maybe that's a good sign. There we go. We got access to the door now. No. Over to this thing. And then we shut the power down. There we go. Finally. Let's get the system back online. At least the system reset. I just need access. Who has it? Ooh. Hoskins, canteen. Got it. One last stop and then we're out of here. Oh, there we go. There's the level four access to. I can't remember if there was anyone else in crew quarters that had level four access. I would like to, uh, to have a look if we're able to do that. If... We don't get snuck up on here by Wyatt. Jesse, 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 think about what you're doing. I am. It's been a long night. And I'm just trying to contain this. Don't take any shit from him. You haven't seen what I have. Listen to me. You have no idea what you're doing. Jessica. Don't start freaking out now. Oh, here we go. I'm on my way. Just stay in the greenhouse, Wyatt. <laughs> Nobody likes you, Wyatt. Stay in there. All right, so it's this way to the canteen. But seeing as though we're here, let's have a look around. So we got level four. I saw that was uh, Asim there. Let's take a look at what's in here. That was Asim back there, by the way, if I didn't say it. The, uh, the arm that belonged to the person. I spend more time adjusting the projector for movie night than actually working. We have severe power issues due to our faulty array. Our power is running out. <laughs> but at least we have old movies to pass the time. Okay, what's this? Authorization required, granted by Asim. Terra Central has been notified. Lockdown protocols are in effect until further notice. Okay, right, what else we got? Where else were you hiding, Asim? Or were you just straight up doing your job and getting a headache from everyone? Asim, I'm thinking of starting up a poetry club. Know anyone that might be interested? Or do you have a secret club already? Thanks, Nick. Your order of chess maneuvers have been dispatched. You can track your packages in the reference number on the Terra portal. Okay, what about this? A desperate dream. One that never fades. Constant, like time. <laughs> I told you my poetry was coming along. 
Sure, it's no choice right now, but I'm working on it. All we have up here is time. So I will have plenty of time to practice. The cycle is dragging. Not sure if poetry alone can sustain me for that long. Perhaps I will get a yo-yo. It's a weird side note, but I don't know how many of you guys have actually played with a yo-yo. I absolutely love them. <laughs> I used to change the ball bearings in them as well, so they'd spin forever. Oh, that's Hoskins. Adam? Is he done? <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Damn. Yes, finally. Fuck lockdown. Poor Hoskins. Close his eyes, Jess. And pick up a kitchen knife while we're in here, too. Don't be messing around anymore. We've got that level 5 keycard now. I'm not sure if I've got all of those, but again, I've been trying to keep up with it. Yeah, just grab anything. <laughs> Even that glass jar as well. Anything will do. I'm glad we spotted that, though, pretty early on. I mean, it wasn't that hard to see through the glass. I think Jack was just kind of not saying it, it might for... not be full access, but the tunnels are good enough. Probably safer to enter that way anyway. I think Jack was saying it more for Jess's benefit, not to freak her out, but... Turns out it might have been a good idea to actually tell her everything. If you're wondering why I'm going this way as well... Now that we have the level 5 access, I believe we can go into Wyatt's quarters. Oh, there's more. Look at this. It's all level 5 here. So, Adam and Wyatt. Alright, we're going to check Adam first. Due to power issues, we've had to switch to officer access areas. <laughs> this really hasn't helped with the paranoia. Things are getting a little wild now. I'm about to go and inspect the hangar doors with Nick, who claims claw marks or something. Ooh. <laughs> They're actually considering an animal tried to break in. Uh, imagine. That really would be the cherry on top. Alien life. <laughs> First contact. And it's here on Solace. <laughs> Don't play with me like that, Hoskins. I need that. I need to know if we have or we are dealing with something like that. Ooh, here we go. That's not Jack, right? Oh, no, wait, that's Helen. That was when she was stumbling into the uh, atrium. When she banged on the window to get Jack's attention. So where did she come from, then? She, If she goes comes from the right side of the atrium... That's where whoever stabbed or did that to her, that's where it happened. All right, let's have a look at what else we got. Well, in addition to running low on toilet paper, we're now running low on antibiotics because some kind of seasonal flu has haunted us for the past few weeks. I think we're all just looking forward to losing our dreary eyes and raw noses. I know that I am. But one benefit um, to being locked away is being able to call Rachel about her studies. She says she's following in the footsteps of her father. <laughs> I don't know up here. It, it is maybe the best medicine Alright, let's see what you had on your computer, Wyatt. So this is Subject Fort Solace. 
Why? I know sometimes your pride can be intolerable, but if you're truly feeling that way, you should really take a step back. It's only a posting. We miss you. The girls can't wait to have you home. If nothing else, hold on to that, Christina. Hey, we haven't heard from you in a few days. Did you manage to get Ask him to fix your terminal? Just dropping a message here if you're not too busy and want to call later. I'll keep the girls up just in case. Love you, Christina. So this is what White was talking about in White, one of the first video logs that we heard when he was saying that I'm seeing my family but through a screen and I really miss them. Why? I don't hear from you for almost a week and then you send me that? What's in this package? Why can't I open it? You're scaring me. Call me back now. I'm serious. Does Tom know what it is? Oh no, what did you send back, Wyatt? Was it something from the greenhouse? I confronted Helen today uh, about the situation here. She flat out refuses to admit anything is going on. More of Nick's teams are showing what I believe, based upon my medical experience, to be clearly radiation sickness, but she said that due to the varying symptoms being displayed by each patient, I currently have nothing conclusive to confirm my diagnosis. But there is one consistent factor, and that's the hand trigger. That's a sign. I think that's a sign, and it's just hiding. Plain sight. Yeah, yeah, come in. A couple of guys playing poker tonight. Ben's here? Um, no, no, not tonight. But did you think about what I talked about, going to the hangar? Not this again. Why? You know, I can't just let you in. It's against regulations. You could get suspended. Yeah, I, I, I've asked you not to call me. <laughs> um, why is no one taking this seriously? I am. Tell you what. If you win the game, I'll let you take a look. Sound fair? Yeah, deal. Right. I'll let the guys know we found our sixth player. See you in the canteen about seven. Yeah, great. Can't wait. Looks like I'm playing poker tonight. Okay, so... He mentioned the tremors there. Clearly, Jess has got whatever's affecting them too. But the way he's referring to it, is that giving you guys any suspicions right now? Because it definitely is with me. Service us. The system is still offline. Surveillance. Is that Wyatt? And is that Oscar behind him? I was trying to think of the name. A little bit of time went past there. And then Oscar comes out with those injuries that we found. But he was on the table though, right? So is that is that saying that Wyatt Oh there we go. I think <laughs> I think that basically gives us the full rundown. Something definitely isn't right with that, guys. Something definitely not right with that. Today. Today, I can't believe what I saw. It's the soil. It's always been here. Literally right under our feet. Whoa. What has happened here? Cannot happen on Earth. Can, can you imagine the consequences if people were to take this infection back home with them? I mean, uh, Jesus, I almost brought a plant back home for my daughter. I have a moral obligation to contain this and prevent it from spreading. Oh no, is that what you're doing? So he's talking about Helen there when she got him suspended. Oh, 
he's got the tremors. I just hope I have the strength to do what needs to be done. Okay, so right now we've got to use the tunnels in order to gain access to the greenhouse. And the only real area, apart from the tunnels that we were with Jack, when we were kind of using that thing that just slammed into the blast doors, is outside. But I think I remember that maybe one level down from here, there was access to the greenhouse here. I'm probably not meant to go this way. I just want to know if I can. And then obviously if there's some kind of obstruction or something like that, then, or even if it looks sketchy, then I'll, I'll turn around and go outside i'm not really sure if there was a way that i saw to get in though yeah look this here says greenhouse so is it this is this what it was referencing when it said tunnels okay this has got to be it i thought it was either this one or the other way Je jessica where is he just stop this please you don't know what you're doing I could say the same to you. Yeah, tell him, Jess. I'm saving lives. That's what I do. Adam? Asim? How exactly did you save them? I've let this go on long enough. All right, guys. So with that said, I think this is where we're going to end it. If you guys really do enjoy this and you want to see more of it, I think I may daily upload this until we end up finishing it because I'm having a blast with it and I really, really want to know how this ends. So if you want to see more quicker, I guess, then drop a like on the video, subscribe to keep up to date with everything, and I'll see you all in the next one.